It's non-league day, welcome to the AGP Arena, where high-flying Hendon are in town. A stern test for Glen Tampling's men, for sure, this afternoon. The Blues line up with the ever-present Alan Julian in goal, a back three of Josh Urquhart, Rob Swain and Joe Ellul. In the midfield, a foursome. It's Paul Konczewski, Sam Deering, Ricky Modest and Rob Evans. And a three-prong attack, Louis Theophanus. Billy Bricknell and Adam Cunnington, who turns 30 today. Substitutes, well, it's five of them. Robinson, Chambers, Waldron, Walker and Payne. Manager Glenn Tampling is the Mitre Manager of the Month for September. He'll be hoping October goes equally as well. Visitors Hendon have been winning plaudits as well as matches. Watch out for Nico Murr in attack. 12 goals for him this season, including two hat-tricks. So we're all ready to get underway. Two high flyers clash here in Essex at the AGP Arena. This could be Billericke's sternest test so far. Unbeaten since the opening day of the season. They top the table, but the chasers aren't that far behind and they need to keep winning games to stay on top. Early throw in here for Hendon. Curling effort for Joseph. Took a deflection. Closed down there by Rob Swain and Paul Kinchesky too. Hendon making the running. Keegan Cole. Lovely in that midfield. Nathaniel George cuts inside. Nathaniel George, that's a fine strike. Ashley Nathaniel George gives Hendon an early lead. He cut in from the left-hand side. He found an inch of space. And his shot nestles in the top corner and you have to take your hat off. It's a fine finish beyond the reach of the fingertips of Alan Julian. Swings long ball in. It's a decent one as well. And the header was from Billy Bricknell and it required the attentions of the fingertips of Tom Lovelock. I have to say that was a very good save. And Julian with a long ball forward. The flick on. Ricky Modest! And Billy Ricky are very quickly back on level terms. Ricky Modest doesn't start too many games, but he's in the starting lineup today. And he climbs high above Rian Bray to nod the ball beyond Lovelock. And without too much time on the clock, Billy Ricky Town have their equaliser. Didn't like to throw men forward, that's for sure. Here's Eggleton. Squares it across the face of the box. And another curl and another goal. It's Keegan Cole who reinstates Hendon's lead after just 16 minutes. Three early goals in this game. And another very good goal this from Hendon. Curls it over the top of the goalkeeper. And it caught Alan Julian off his line. He couldn't do anything about that. That's a very, very good goal from Keegan Cole. The former West Ham Academy player. Rob Evans. Looks for a deep cross. And it comes back out. And the birthday boy is on the score sheet. 30 today. And he makes it 2-2. Two, two. It's his eighth of the season. And he wasn't going to make any errors from that distance out. Ramming it into the corner. And Billericke once again back on level terms at 2-2. Not even 20 minutes on the clock here. Four goals already. Joseph. Dink. Well, he's already caught out. Alan Julian once as Keegan Cole. And he very nearly caught him again there. That one comes back off the crossbar. They've been bright and energetic. Hendon certainly... Having pressed early on in this game. Bricknell. 
Theophanos didn't quite connect as he would have liked good look to Theophanos his shot just wide of the target towards Muir Joseph eager to get the shot in it wasn't far away goes on the outside Paul Koncheski showed him on the outside just couldn't quite find a way between Post and Alan Julian thought it might have taken a deflection indeed it was the fingertips of Julian up towards the edge of the penalty area referee says penalty a foul by Jake Eggleton gives Billy Bricknell the opportunity here to give Bill Ricky the lead for the first time this afternoon Adam Cullington won the penalty Billy Bricknell scores the penalty rich vein of form at the moment for Billy Bricknell back amongst the goals again after a spell out of the side tucks that one in the corner sends Tim or Tom Lovelock the wrong way Smart penalty from Bricknell. 3 2 to Billericke. 10 minutes to go to half time. Deering. Paul Koncheski floats it in towards the penalty area, and there is Adam Cunnington again. He's blowing out those birthday cake candles in this first half. His second. Billa Ricky's fourth. And they've really put their seal on this game. They've had to come back twice. But when you deliver the ball like Koncheski does there, it's meat and drink to a big man like Adam Cunnington. He tucks it in the corner for 4-2. The best is Deary. To Rob Swain. Hunt downfield from Alan Julian. Six goals in the first half, four of them for Billa Ricky twice. They've had to come from behind. Two for the birthday boy, Adam Cunnington. Plenty to talk about. But so far, so good for Glenn Tampling and his men. No manager of the month curse so far. Well, from what we've seen of Hendon in the first half, this game certainly isn't done and dusted yet. They've got plenty to offer going forward. One goal would certainly change things. Ricky Modest, who scored the opening goal for Billy Ricky, has been replaced by Danny Waldrop. This is Rob Evans. Koncheski. No. Tucked forward by Eggleton. It's Corcoran. Cole. Nicely done by Rob Evans just to play it down the line. Couldn't quite keep it in though. Sam Deering with this corner for Billa Ricky. Fifth goal would surely seal it. It's a good delivery. Header down for Joe Ellu, but it's wide. And that would have eased the tension amongst the near 2,000 crowd here on non league date at the AGP Arena. Cunnington, Deering takes it down smartly, still Deering into the side netting, got the better of Arthur Lee, the Hendon captain but couldn't find the target, this is good from Deering, went for that little gap between the left hand of Lovelock and the post, just fired wide, whoops wait. Away, it's Bricknell, Deering, keeps it moving, Koncheski takes one touch, gets the cross in with that trusted left foot, very nearly caught out, Tom Lovelock in the Hendon goal with a delivery, in towards that near post, Goalkeeper had to do something didn't he, he was going in. Daniel George scored that opening goal to get the goals rolling here this afternoon 
Sam Deering wins it back. No foul, no flag. And a chance here for Theophanus. Good save from Tom Lovelock. He had plenty of time here. Theophanus to pick his spot. Went for the accuracy. The goalkeeper guessed right. Inchesky. Tricks away from Dave Jiju. Swain keeps it moving. This is Urquhart. Flips it forward. Bricknell with the flick. Acrobatics from Cunnington. Had a hat-trick in mind perhaps, but didn't quite connect the big men. Closed down by Eggleton. Change coming up here. Billy Bricknell's going to come off. And it's going to be Dan Walker to come on. Got that goal from the penalty spot, Billy Bricknell. Thumped forward by Alan Julian. One well in the air there by Walker. Tuck wide by Cunnington. Deering! Worth an effort, cut inside on that right foot. Got the better of Eggleton. Gets the shot in. Through a crowd, the goalkeeper was standing waiting. Matt Payne is the man coming on for Rob Evans. It's going to be whipped towards goal by Uchechi. It wasn't quite as he would have liked. Got it over the wall, okay. Just wouldn't come back down. Straight into the Hendon fans behind that goal from uh, the substitute Daniel Uchechi. Ball. Sprint it wide to this left-hand side. No flag. Nathaniel George taking on Urquhart. Still Nathaniel George. That's a very, very good goal. Well, that's closed things up. We're into injury time, but it gives Hendon a glimmer of hope with time fast running out. They've certainly impressed going forward this afternoon, Hendon. They've scored three cracking goals, and that was a fine individual solo effort from Ash Nathaniel George. With one thing in mind, and he accomplished it. This is Mert, who's been relatively quiet today. Nathaniel George, he's on a hat trick. Fires it over the top of the crossbar, which is a relief for Billy Ricky. It's going to be a yellow card for Alan Juliet in the eyes of the referee, time wasting. And when you're ahead by the odd goal in seven deep into injury type, an old pro like Alan Julian is going to try and wind the clock down, but he doesn't agree with the referee's yellow card. Alan Julian to punt this one forward. Five minutes on the clock in injury time. Referee looks at his watch and blows the final whistle. No shortage of goals, no shortage of drama. There never is here at the AGP Arena. But Billericay Town have certainly been tested this afternoon by a very good Hendon side. Nearly 2,000 people inside the AGP Arena have seen Billericay twice have to come from behind. Two goals for the birthday boy, Adam Cunnington. And the final score here at the AGP Arena. It's finished Billericay Town 4, Hendon 3. Congratulations, Rob Swain, on being in the match today. Thanks very much. Cheers. Congratulations. Well done. Cheers.